guys, today is September 3rd, and I'm getting a little bit better at doing these videos early in the day. It's only 7.30 right now, but I'm planning on going to bed early because I have rehearsal in the morning. So, meanwhile, whoo! Crazy day in politics, to say the least. Um, I'm gonna talk about Jared O'Mara, because that needs talking about as a side-by-side -side with Tori and Peter Patrick and everything else. But let's talk about Jared, right? Um, who resigned and then decided to delay his resignation. Just the, some brief um, contacts, Amara got in trouble back pretty soon after he was elected in 2017 uh, for racial slurs and inappropriate comments online. He got kicked out of the Labour Party, then got reinstated back in, but the summer had to step down when it turns out that he sexually harassed one of his employees who was a 20-year-old young woman. What a winner! Um, but now he's not stepping down, because presumably with the defection that happened earlier today, if he stepped down, that would mean that Boris would have a majority again. Um, and not only that, and not stepping down and in holding off, to hopefully a general election by the skin of his nails. Um, he also gets a financial bonus. So why step down now when you can actually hold on a little bit longer and make a bit more money? I am furious, in case you can't tell. I'm furious because this, Right here is exactly a big part of what's wrong with British politics and an even bigger part of what's wrong with a lot of UK society. We don't expect our politicians to be responsible for their actions and when the people making the rules refuse to be responsible, how can we then expect anyone to take responsibility when that is our motto? This, once again, on both sides of the aisle, left and right, um, shows just how distinctively low our government is worried about um, violence against women. Is worried about truth, is worried about character. And I'm not saying that to be a complete fundamentalist and go back to full Christian rights. I am saying that because it is impossible to stretch a nation where people are not held responsible for their actions, and in turn are also able to make the rules. What this shows, Jared Omar, side by side with the abuse that we've seen from Johnson, okay, two opposite sides of the political aisle, don't forget that. Don't think it's just the toys because it ain't. Neither side of the political aisle is willing to hold 
to account the consequences of harming women. And that is deeply problematic. And I say that as someone who once had very high hopes for Omar. He has the same disability that I do. But time and again, this goofball has let the country down, has let the privilege of its position down, and has let the left down, and somehow we can't get rid of him, which really absolutely is wrong. We need someone who can stand up and say, if this is how you see women who is 51% of the population, and if you think this is okay, you do not belong in government. False to not. <sighs> it's insanity, guys. Just hold on tight. Stick with the Women's Equality Party and know that each of you who are hearing me now can be part of the change for the better. Just stick it out and know that you are living in this world in this, at this time for a reason. All is not lost. Even when labor and the liberals seem to be pretty spineless, and even when the Tories and the conservatives seem to be taking all of the best ways, they're not. We are a party that will absolutely, completely rip out the rule book and start all over again. That means that you have the power to do it at home. Looking around how women are treated in your community every month, every bit as much as anyone else in Parliament, if not more. Stand strong and keep the hope. Let's make a change happen. That's all I've got for y'all today. A bit longer than the past two days, but remember, you are loved, you are precious, you can take multitudes, and you can change the world. Bye for now.